Hello, this is Steve Burgess from Hypnotherapy for All. Thank you for choosing this recording. I hope you enjoy listening to it and you find the visualizations, suggestions, or affirmations helpful in your quest to feel good. Now, before you play the recording, make sure you won't be disturbed for the next little while. Turn off your phone and find somewhere comfortable to sit or lay with your eyes closed. Obviously, do not play the recording whilst you're doing anything that requires concentration. For example, driving or operating machinery. If you have a history of psychiatric illness, before you listen, check with your doctor that it's okay for you to do so. Hypnosis is just a pleasant state of relaxation. So if you need to come back to full awareness or respond to anything happening around you before the recording is finished, simply count yourself up in your mind from 1 to 10 and open your eyes. So when you're ready, just find somewhere comfortable to lay or sit back and allow your eyelids to close down over your beautiful eyes. And just begin a process of going inwards. A process of tuning out the outside world and just tuning in to your inner world. There are many different ways to go into trance. Usually the simplest and easiest is to allow your body to relax. So I'll just ask you just to think about relaxing some of the muscles in your body. And as you think about these muscles relaxing, they can relax. And as they relax, as you relax, just continue drifting and floating gently inwards. You may like to imagine that nice wave of relaxation flowing down through your body. Loosening muscles in your forehead and face and jaw. And allowing your eyelids to feel comfortably heavy and relaxed. Sometimes people like to imagine their eyelids feeling very heavy. And there can be a correlation between the depth of hypnotic trance and the heaviness in our eyelids. So... Perhaps you'd like to just spend a few moments imagining your eyelids feeling quite heavy and relaxed, as though the tiny little muscles in your eyelids no longer work at the moment. But all the time, just letting yourself drift gently inwards and give your neck and shoulders a mental command to relax. Imagine the weight being lifted off from your shoulders. And just maybe getting a sense of calmness now inside. Allow the wave of relaxation to gently move down through your back. Down your spine, down and down and down to the lower part of your back. Allow your arms to feel loose, limp and relaxed. And then just breathing relaxation down through your chest into your stomach. And then just allowing your hips to loosen a little as you imagine relaxation moving down through your legs all the way down to the tips of your toes. And just allow your body to soften and perhaps have that awareness of drifting a little deeper into relaxation. Remember that hypnosis is neither being awake or being asleep. It's somewhere in the middle if you Imagine a stairway. At the top of the stairs, you're wide awake. At the bottom of the stairs, you're fast asleep. Hypnosis is in the middle, and it's this broad band of stairs from 
light trance, down to medium trance, and perhaps even into deep trance. All of these experiences are valid. You can just enjoy a light state of trance for this recording. Or it may be that you can go down deeper. But just allowing your mind to rest on the sound of my voice. Feeling yourself drifting and floating and just relaxing. Imagine right now that there's nothing you have to do, no place you have to go. This is your healing time for you. And it may be that as you can continue relaxing, listening to my voice now, that throughout the session you may go down a little bit deeper into trance. At other times you may come back up into light trance. The whole process happens in its own way, in its own time. And as you're resting in this way, I'm going to share with you some thoughts and some suggestions and some visualizations that can help you to let go of IBS, that can help you to allow your body to heal now. Firstly, let me share with you a few thoughts about how we live our inner lives in our minds. How easy it is to live in the past, remembering negative events from earlier in our lives and also to anticipate or fear the future. But we rarely think of living in the present. It's said that we spend most of every day with our minds in the past or in the future. The past with all of its pain, missed opportunities and mistakes has gone. We can only look back and learn from past experiences. And all of our future fears may never become a reality. How many times have you felt anxious about future events only to find out that your worries were groundless. As the wise sage said, will worrying about the future change the future? This leaves us with the only true reality, which is the present. Each of us can learn to flow with the tide of life, to live in the now, and simply face the future with calmness when it arrives. What a lot of energy is wasted with worrying about the future. Having said that, I know that this is easily said and not easily obtained, but it can be achieved with practice. People who live in the now are able to live their lives in a much more serene way than those who don't. And the simplest way of bringing the mind into the present moment is to focus on your breathing. In much the same way we would do in a breathing meditation, for example. The fastest way to relax the body is through the breath. So just allowing yourself to stay resting with your eyelids closed. Bring your mind in a very soft way onto the gentle rising and falling of your breathing. And just watch the gentle rhythm of your breathing with a softly focused state of awareness. And as you do this, tuning your mind into your breath, feel yourself breathing down into your stomach. And as you breathe down gently into your stomach, with every in-breath, gently push your stomach out. 
And with every out breath, slowly pull your stomach in. So allow your breathing to deepen as you slowly breathe into your stomach and gently push your stomach out as you breathe in. And as you exhale, allow your stomach muscles to pull inwards. So keep repeating this rhythm. Breathing slowly down into your stomach. While you rest your mind on the rising and falling of your stomach for a short time. Doing your best to keep your mind tuned into your breathing. And just with every in-breath, gently push your stomach out. With every out breath, slowly pull your stomach in. Keeping your mind just focused onto the rhythm of your breathing. A gentle rising and falling of your breath. If you like, you can imagine that each time you breathe out, you're releasing any tension in your body. And as you breathe in, you're bringing in calmness and peace. If you find it easy to visualize, imagine breathing a healing light energy into your stomach filling all of the cells of your stomach and chest with calmness. This slow breathing, the more you practice it in this focused, relaxed way, will begin to create a state of tranquility in your body and mind. And the more you practice it, the more you are spending time in the now. And the more you will begin to notice now an inner stillness as you remain in the present moment. So as you move through each day from this time on, do your best to keep bringing your awareness onto your breathing. Whatever you are doing, allow a part of your mind to go inside yourself and focus on the slow rhythm of your breath. Wherever you are, whatever you are doing, just let your mind rest on your breathing. And this will continually bring your mind into the present and into the peace that is always in the now moment. So please use this very powerful, gentle and easy technique to allow your body to calm down now. It may be that as you do this gentle breathing regularly each day, you notice that your stomach begins to relax. You notice that your central area begins to calm down. And you can find that any discomfort that you've had there begins to ease away, begins to dissolve away. So you can use this breathing as a way of continually calming your system down and allowing your whole body and allowing your physiological system to calm down and to heal. The more you do this, the more the effects of this breathing will last for longer and longer periods of time with all of your stomach and bowels and intestines feeling much more relaxed. 
And now I'm going to ask you to use your imagination in order to allow the power of your subconscious mind to creatively help your body to start to heal. And as you do so, your subconscious mind is sending messages and suggestions directly to your body. So as you think of these things happening, so they are happening now in reality. So be as creative as you possibly can now, as you imagine that somewhere in your mind is a control room. A room that controls all the workings of your body. Just be as creative as you can be, as you visualize moving into this control room in your mind. And imagine that in this control room, there are computer screens dials, switches, lights, monitors, etc. There may be wheels and cogs and pulleys and wires. There may be gaming consoles or computer pads. Just imagine that all of the functions of your body are controlled and organized by the monitors and screens and dials, etc. that you can see. See, this room is beautifully well lit and everything seems to be operating calmly and well. There may even be some gentle sounds coming from some of the machinery, indicating that everything is working as it should be. Which means that all of the physiological functions that keep you healthy and well are operating just as they should be. However... Imagine that you find your way instinctively to the machine or the computer screen that controls your stomach and bowels and intestines. And as you open up the screen or look at the machine, you find that something is not working correctly. Which means that this control panel or this machine has been creating the IBS that you've been suffering from. Maybe there's been a glitch in the computer program that runs your stomach and bowels and intestines. Or perhaps you can see some wires have burnt out or detached themselves from the machine. Maybe some switches have become wrongly turned off or turned on. Perhaps some lights have been wrongly switched on or switched off. Or could it be that some cogs or pulleys have become stuck or damaged in some way. Just imagine in whatever way comes to mind that you can see the problem that has been causing the IBS. And when you're ready, make the changes in that control room in your mind to fix the problem, to replace or get rid of the old obsolete control. Maybe you can imagine typing a new program into the computer or doing something with switches and dials and lights. Or perhaps something more manual needs doing in some way. It doesn't matter how you do it. Just use your imagination to imagine making the changes that mean that your body can start to work properly again and your stomach and bowels can start to work normally now. So be as creative as you can with your visualization. You don't need to know how to reprogram things or fix things. Just imagine that whatever you are doing is mending and repairing the old systems and that new systems, programs or machinery are being installed that begin to work immediately now so that your stomach and bowels begin to work normally now. And as you do this, allow yourself to feel your central area responding to these new programs or these new ways of being. I'll just remain silent now, just for a few moments, whilst you continue this visualization.
It may be that you can feel your stomach softening or relaxing. Or you can feel a feeling of calmness and ease. Or even a feeling of lightness inside. And each time that you play this recording, check that everything is working okay and your physiological system is operating at optimum levels. Each time you play this recording in the future, it may be that nothing needs to be done or you may need to tweak things slightly to maintain perfect physical and emotional equilibrium. And just imagine now that having created this new healing system in the control room in your mind, that your stomach and bowels and intestines begin to feel very calm and very much at peace. And as you feel a feeling of calmness, peacefulness or even lightness in your stomach, I'm going to ask you to anchor it by just touching together the thumb and index finger on one of your hands. So just hold that feeling in your body whilst you hold a thumb and index finger together and you can anchor this very pleasant feeling of well-being. Stay with that feeling, keeping the thumb and finger anchored together just for the next little while Again, I'll just remain silent whilst you do this. Ready, just allow the finger and thumb, the anchor to open. Now each time that you play this recording, make sure that you anchor again these good feelings in your body. At any time in the future, whenever you want to feel these good feelings in your stomach and your bowels, all you have to do is squeeze the thumb and finger together. We call this firing the anchors. What that means is that by touching the thumb and finger together, your subconscious mind will create that automatic association of well-being in your stomach. So that any place, any time, anywhere in the future, if you want to feel a feeling of calmness in your stomach and in your central area, simply fire your anchor, squeeze your thumb and index finger together, and automatically you'll feel these good feelings just flowing through your stomach, your bowels and your intestines. And you may also feel gently calmer in yourself too. Okay, so having done all of this, allow yourself to leave the control room in your mind, making sure that everything is working properly all the switches and dials and programs have been left on in the way that they should be. Walk out of the door and close it behind you. And then just run a movie in your mind of how you want to be. Just imagine yourself in the next little while with the IBS no longer a part of your life. Imagine a miracle has occurred and there you are, free from IBS. Just see a movie of yourself at home, at work, out socially, going through your day-to-day -day routines as though a miracle has occurred. See yourself completely free from IBS. If you get a good feeling as you're doing this, then anchor it, squeeze your thumb and finger together.
just using your imagination to create the future that you want to enjoy now. So in a few moments, it's going to be time to slowly and gently come back to full awareness. I'm going to ask you to bring back pleasant feelings with you. Allow them to remain with you long after this session has finished. And also come back with a belief inside that's growing that you can heal now. So I'm going to count up from 1 to 10 and with each number ask you to come back little by little and on the count of 10 to come all the way back to full awareness and open your eyes. Of course, if you would prefer just to drift off now for a while longer and come back in your own time or even just drift off to sleep now, just turn off this recording now. Otherwise, I'm going to start counting now. With each number, feel yourself little by little coming back to full awareness on the count of ten. So coming back from one, gently up to two, slowly coming back to three, all the way back to four, perhaps feeling yourself becoming more and more alert now to five, Gently up to six, slowly up to seven, more and more alert now, all the way back to eight, maybe starting to move your fingers and your hands and your feet and legs a little bit, all the way back to nine. And when you're ready, come all the way back to ten, take some nice deep breaths, have a good stretch, open your eyes and feel good now.